What's going on, everybody? I'm trying to see what's all the hype with Dominaria lately. Why the heck is this going so high? And what what's going on with the singles prices? So let's check it out today. I haven't listed Dominaria United in quite some time. Probably since that crazy Caracas poll that I had that you guys didn't get to see because my microphone wasn't working. It was all around just a really bad opening. So I did not post that. But I will post this one now. <laughs> so I got this um, while, while, while back. But whenever you know prices were in the 120s, 130s, and I've been sitting on it, and now it's time to open it. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take our time, enjoy, enjoy some Dominaria United today. Um, the lands in this set, the lands are expensive. It makes no sense to me why people are paying almost two bucks a land. I don't understand it. Like this land, buck 89 or something crazy at the moment. Not sure when I'll actually get to post this video. Nice reef. Um, you know, loam speaker. I have no idea when I'll actually get to post. Um, these etched foils are pretty much worthless. Um, and we got an Astor. Which, where, where's the texture? Oh, uh, that's the texture. Okay. We got an Astor. So, I'm going to be listing the lands in this set. Why? Because it just, you know, two bucks a land. How do you not list that? Smash to dust, villain splinters, geyser. Okay, we need the terror. Terror is what you want to see there. Okay, swamp. Rivaz. That's one of the better textures you can get. <laughs> And, uh, where did I put that? I put that. The braids! Alright, that foil there is like a $10 hit or something like that. It's, it's pricey in the non-showcase form. So, that goes in our, in our wins up here. Maelstrom. Okay. Well, nothing. Well, nothing. Nothing. And some springs. Not much. I just was never a fan of this set, to be honest. The, uh, land cycle, rather. The set I'm a fan of. I want to see some Caracas, some Legends pulls, some Pen some Tabernacle. That's what I want to see out of this. Juniper. Flowstone. The other one's stuck, so I'm being, like, really careful here today. I'm trying not to stick it. Stronghold Arena. Okay. All right, green sleeve. That's a 12 bucker right there. Oh, that's a 12 bucker. And uh, Jasmine, that's uh, not a good pull there. And uh, that's not a good pull there. I guess this is one of the only ones in etched that's uh, worthwhile. And a vigor. All right. Quick little video today. I've been I've been trying to optimize the channel. Do some good things with the uh, with the lighting here. Do some good things with my website. With uh, I added some shopping, so you know, please check out my uh, my offering of um, products and such. I kind of like the hats uh, and the coffee mugs. Uh, those are those are my favorite. Zur, unfortunately, this is our mythic texture, and I don't know that we're gonna get a Sheldred this this box. Firebrand, you know, instinct, yeah. We're doomed to not make any money there. Doomed on that one. And Archangel of Wrath. Okay. Kicker. Enters the battlefield. Okay. We want to see a Phyrexian Sheldred. We want to see a Legends pull. Tolarian Terror. That's a hit. That's a hit. Turtle. So, oh, Pilgrim. That's a, that's a buck. Forest, Gleeful, Spell Thief, Timeless Lotus, boom! Timeless Lotus is coming in for a hit. Right there, Chaotic Transformation, we got uh, Tobias, uh, Zyra, uh, this, oh, and a nice braids. We got a couple of braids up there. Line up them braids. This, this set, you either hit big in the box or you get nothing. There's really, you don't get really much in between. Oh, I don't, I don't, information popping up on my screen there. Beachfront. Yosha. 
Oh, Yoshi declares some war. This is going on Peacekeeper. Ah, Thran Portal, that's a buck. Lagmos, that's nothing. 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 All right, we are in a little bit of trouble here. I was at least looking to make back my original investment of 120. Jeez. Negate. I'm really, like, feeling them. Uh, nothing. Scrutiny. Okay. Wrath. Tort. Overlord. Canart. Uh, Silverback Elder. I don't actually don't know what he's doing, but he looks really good in full foil. Um, so we'll just put him up here. I don't. I actually don't know what he's doing. Sorry. He's a uh, a mythic that I don't rip too often. I don't know what he's doing. Radiant protect. Okay, a two dollar land there. We got uh, Radabic. Rivaz, this Rivaz again. Anytime you get the non-showcase form, because the showcase form is so much more common. Sten and threats. Okay. Yeah. Every time I hit, I open this stuff. It's like I either I either hit 15 Sheldreds or none, and it's looking like none. Swamp. Okay. Urza assembles Tiller. Little Czar. Little Jasmine. And a Raven. Ooh, Liliana coming in for five bucks or so. And a bird. Liliana. This used to be like big drop right there. Maybe she recovered back to 10. I don't know. We're talking. It used to be like 20 for this, something like that. Extinguish. You see how that's stuck? Rona. Astor, it just looks so shiny with that texture. Weather light completed. I don't know what this is doing. Activated sleeper. Okay. Stang, the ever changing Dane, and uh, Yavamaya Coast. It still looks pretty awesome in that uh, full art, despite the fact it ain't worth nothing. I mean, it's worth like a buck or so. Three bucks, maybe. Maybe five, because it's borderless boil. Sunlit Marsh. I was looking for one of these for so long for a customer. Desecrator. Erg. Oh, hourglass. You'd think this would be more than it is. Look. If a player would begin an extra turn, that player skips that turn instead. Pretty good. Ramsey's a little springs and a shadow right. We are on the last pack. Drum roll, please, because we are in a little bit of trouble. We got some trouble. We got to pull a, a cathedral to break even. A little bit of trouble. Come on. Cut down. That's a buck or so. Well, I'm gonna have to go back through that bulk to double check, but no legends hitting in this box. Alright, there we go. Hex catcher, four. Maybe that's another five bucks. Aaron, Ramirez, Rivez, and uh, Rundeveld. Very good. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in. We did happen to pull. A Timeless Lotus. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've pulled a Timeless Lotus. Um, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I don't know. I think it should be around 12 to $15 for that Timeless Lotus. I'm just not sure though because like I said, I haven't pulled one for so long. So talk to you all later. Thank you.